Okay, it is Friday, May 15th. You can see the chaos happening because we have finally gotten warm here and started planting. I will be uploading a gardening vlog where you get to watch and plant with us as we plant. I know a lot of you on my other channel enjoyed when I did that last year. Our tree is starting to bloom. You saw last week it was just budding. Now it's starting to bloom and it will, I thought it was pink. It's the buds that are pink. The flowers themselves actually turn white, which is funny. I'll show you that when we get up closer. But we do have confirmation this week that bunnies are getting into the garden. I actually saw a bunny in this garden. So it's not deer eating the asters, it's the bunny. <laughs> um, so we are going to repair my garden fence. I mean, obviously it's so easy for him to get in here. We're gonna fix this this weekend. This is the first order of business for the weekend. I'm actually gonna move the fence to this other side of my wash tub garden. If you saw my video on my other channel, I can link it above. This becomes a wash tub garden and I put a sink faucet in there and I fill it with thrifted dishes and then sweet alyssum. Bunnies do not like sweet alyssum. So I can just move, now that that's what I'm planting in there each year, I can move the fence to this side and the bunnies won't mess with it. And I don't think they like the sedum because they would have eaten it already because um, it's here and they have access to it and they haven't touched it. So hopefully that will solve our problem. I did move my lily. If you remember last week I showed it to you, it was over here. And it's, the bunny just keeps, every time it gets any kind of sprouting, the bunny just eats it. So I moved it and hopefully, and I say the bunny because we know we're pretty sure there's one orphaned bunny living under our shed we found we knew there were baby bunnies we found them in the yard not to be gross but there was um a fox here and he did a number on the bunnies but we have continued to see one. Oh my goodness the birds are amazing <sighs> isn't that beautiful i love birds anyway so we know that there's a bunny we think it, we think he might be orphaned and we only ever see the one so i don't know and Molly planted in here. So I'm just filling most of my pots this year with um, wave petunias. They're easy to care for and you know, they fill the pots. I did get this hanging pot. I need to put it on a shorter chain so that I can hang it where it's supposed to hang. I didn't realize that was gonna be an issue or I might've picked a different one, but you know, it is what it is. I think I'm gonna try um, maybe I don't know what I'm going to try. I was thinking maybe some of the Dollar Tree chain, but I don't know if that's going to work. So I'm going to have to figure something out. That bird is wild right now. I don't know what kind of bird it is. Maybe one of you knows. And Molly just filled all of these. Sorry for the pooper scooper. I should have moved that, but you know, this is real life. Nicole North Garden is a real life YouTuber. <laughs> um, and this is the other side of my whirly gig. I think I'm going to use that as garden art. I'm going to maybe turn it into a flower. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. But anyway, so those got potted this week. Here's the tree. The lawn needs to be mowed. My daughter is going to mow it when she's done with classes. Oh, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm going to be participating in a challenge on Monday. It's a Monday motivation challenge to clean something up. And I am going after this area. It really needs help. In the winter time, we tend to shove stuff under there and we just haven't cleaned it out yet. So I need to take care of that. The lilacs are not yet blooming. Someone did say next year we could try throwing burlap over them. So I think I'll try that. I have not fed my perennials yet, but that's because they say to wait until after your April showers. And honestly, our spring just popped really. Like it was cold and rainy until like two days ago. So, Yesterday, my daughter wanted to mow the grass and she couldn't because the ground was so wet. I was like, just wait till tomorrow. I did cut the asparagus, which I have video from that. And then yesterday it shot up again. <laughs> like I can't stay on top of it, but I should just come out every morning and cut it. I mean, these here, the those there are a little too thin to even eat. There are two stalks over there I see. Whoops, you can't see them. Let me see if I can focus it. There we go. Two stalks over there that are probably edible. But it is its first, I mean, it's the third year of having the plants, but it's first year of like actually putting up stalks of asparagus. So 
this is funny. I have one. All my snow peas failed this year because it got so cold. Only one germinated. <laughs> so I have one little pea plant and now it took so long to germinate that it's gonna get too hot for the pea plant anyway, so. Nothing else happening in the veggie garden yet. I do have herbs and some veggies to plant. This pot I put in here, every year my cucumbers get um, powdery mildew. This year I'm gonna try spraying them from the get-go with something that someone told me about. I'm gonna try doing them just one little plant in a pot because I don't need I don't need a lot of them anyway. My family's not huge on vegetables, so I don't like to have too many vegetables to eat, but I enjoy eating them and some of the kids like them. So I thought one pot, one big plant in that pot, maybe two plants should be just fine on a trellis, I think. Or I might do a bush variety, I haven't decided, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try them there. And then this way, if they get powdery mildew, I can just pull them out and it doesn't touch anything else in the garden. I'm just trying to keep, I'm trying to keep the airflow really good in here this year to try to prevent that from happening again, so. Nothing much changing here. And the hostas are starting to leaf out, which is great. So you saw them last week, they were just kind of looking like shoots still, but now they're starting to open up. And you'll see that on my June hostas over here. Oh, aren't they so pretty? I just love them. That's June. And this is, I think it's a uh, lime, something lime. I always forget the name of this one. Not much happening on the hydrangea front. Just new growth, no growth from the old wood. Don't know why. And then I'm not gonna show you too much of the porch because I am gonna do a whole porch tour, but you can see we've started to fill the pots out here. And we've come back around. So not a ton changed this week because it was very, very cold. It was in the 30s up until the day before yesterday. It was still dropping to like 32 degrees and all of our plants had to be brought inside. And I mean, I hadn't potted anything yet, so it was easy. But now we should start to have more growth and change in the garden. And that's all that I have for you today. Thanks for walking around the garden with me. Until my next video, thanks for watching.